perhaps uh, your biggest rival, Swift, will be joining you. Could you shed some light? Well, look, it, you know, Swift is owned by the banks, and we are here to help the banks. You know, we feel like blockchain technologies are a massive step function forward in terms of how correspondent banking has historically worked. The technologies that banks use today that Swift developed you know, decades ago is really hasn't evolved and kind of kept up with the market. And so we feel like we're here to help the banks. Swift is owned by the banks. There have been opportunities where maybe there's partnership opportunities. We haven't been able to bring those to fruition. But we're going to keep focusing on solving the customer problem. Uh, you know, Swift said not that long ago they didn't see blockchain as a solution to correspondent banking. Yeah, you know, we've got well over 100 of their customers saying that they disagree. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Well, I think what we're doing and executing on a day-by-day -day -day basis is, in fact, taking over Swift. In that, you know, we've now signed up, you know, well over 100 banks. Some of the largest Swift-enabled banks in the world are now using Ripple's technology. The people who say that Ripple is somehow, your, your word, the devil, it's because we, we're partnering with the man. We decided if you want to enable an internet of value, you've got to connect to the repositories of value. And the repositories of value are the banks. We certainly want to see banks succeed in this new world order. This new world order. Ethereum is quite big. Uh, a, 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 a currency called Ripple that you might hear in the banking sector. Central banks already issue digital currencies. It's called bank reserves. Going to a different economy. And we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers in Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box. Uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to 8% of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity. And as an American, you know, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, oh, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we could have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial s seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. Welcome, Welcome to the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances 
and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New Road Order book shows you how the world really works. And it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. Now, guys, I told you in 2023, in the first quarter, we would get an event. And now we have the banking collapse, which the master magicians pulled off the perfect distraction. And at the end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter, guys, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, the markets will still pump and dump until we get that next crisis. Guys, we know they're going to pull that rug. And all we have to do is watch the Fed to know exactly when that's about to happen. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now we have Bitcoin and crypto flat. Guys, do not forget CME does not open up tonight because of the holiday. So I definitely see us getting a little bit of liquidity tonight going into tomorrow. Remember, we're going to be the only game in town. Now we have Kathy Woods bullish on Bitcoin and AI convergence. And guys, we know for a fact that AI is going to be using Bitcoin. We know the two are going to be coming together. Remember, crypto means hidden message, hidden meaning. These cryptos are for the machines. Now, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We had yield rates on Friday slightly move up. We had the dollar move up. And we know if yields are moving up, dollar moving up, that's not good for the market, especially as we see the Fed tightening. And then also, guys, we have volume and crypto down right now. And we have Tether and USDC. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed repo at 1.5 trillion and guys we know we haven't seen it that low but we know jenny yellen is tapping that fund now guys as you heard brad garlinghouse at the beginning of this video we know projects like ripple and stellar are working with the banks working with the central banks not trying to replace them they are helping the banks get ready for this digital transformation and that's the reason why we have the FDIC. We also have the Fed giving warning to these small and regional sized banks because they know they can't make it. With real time settlement and the amount of liquidity that's going to be needed, these small and regional sized banks are not going to survive. Remember, the central banks globally are keeping rates higher for longer in order to destroy this legacy market. So the fourth industrial revolution rises and we can clearly see that's happening right in front of our eyes. And I'm going to go over that in a second video tonight. And remember, guys, I go live tonight until my birthday, which is September 7th. Now, guys, do not forget about Grayscale sent about $21.4 Now we have JP Morgan says SEC will likely be forced to approve spot Bitcoin ETFs following great scales win. And again, guys, we know for a fact we're going to have a spot Bitcoin ETF either the fall or the first quarter of next year. But remember, guys, once we get this spot Bitcoin ETF, it's going to stabilize the price. It's going to take out all this volatility. So that's going to wind down the Bitcoin casino. But getting over into a little crypto news, guys, we have Binance CEO CZ forecast DeFi outgrowing CeFi in the next bull run. And guys, we know DeFi is definitely the new banking because it cuts the cost for all these central banks. Now we have Vitalik sells MakerDAO stake and swaps it out for ETH. 
And we know last month Vitalik moved about a million dollars worth of ETH over to Coinbase. So it just looks like he's getting ready for the bear market. And then lastly, guys, we have Denari, a crypto startup aiming to tokenize stocks by playing by the rules. And guys, we know everything is going to be tokenized and put on blockchain. And we know there's a lot of companies coming in to tokenize the stock market. We know the bank man was one of the first major ones to actually do it. But guys, we know for a fact, we heard it from Larry Fink. That's the reason why I play it in every single video to get into the people's minds. That that's the reason why they're so focused on ETFs, because it's the easiest way to tokenize stocks. Don't forget Blackstone stated there was going to be a whole 10 years with no growth in the United States. So basically, if you're investing in individual stocks, they're not going to move a lot. That's the reason why you will want to take advantage of a group of stocks for a long-term investment. The stock market is going to go back to holding stocks for long term. A lot of the volatility is going to come out of the stock market. Just look at the volatility over these last three years. It is absolutely amazing. And we probably only have one more year of these types of swings because we know the central banks and the Fed are about to bring down the house of cards. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books. Crypto teacher and the new world order book. Plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks, the receiver, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. Most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.